yeah, yeah, good. It's, uh, you know, uh, for me, that's, since that's my whole life, <laughs> uh, we, um, uh, it, it is really is truly amazing that it's described, you know, basically every experiment we've ever done. But there's a few, several key things, several hints, I would say, that make us think there's physics beyond the standard model. And um, uh, at least a couple of things that are absolute proofs. I mean, things that where we're sure there's physics beyond the standard model. So, for example, uh, we look out in the universe and we see there is this stuff called dark matter. We see that there's all this matter in the universe. In fact, the vast majority of the matter in the universe. Uh, uh, we see that it's there gravitationally, but we don't see it. <laughs> we don't see it with light. We have no idea what it is. Um, in fact, really importantly, and this is, um, we've had some evidence for dark matter for a long time, for many, many decades, but only more recently, in the past couple decades, I would say, have we really, the, the evidence has really conclusively come together to show that dark matter definitely isn't the things we know about. It is definitely not in the standard model. Uh, so for me, that's part of what makes dark matter, for example, really exciting to think about, to try to detect, because it is, it's not just most of the matter in the universe, it is definitely some new element of the fundamental laws of nature. Uh, well, we don't really know, of course. Uh, we have to make guesses. We have to, we have to come up with theories for what they could be. What, for example, the dark matter could be, or what new forces could be there, what they would look like. Um, and then from those theories, we then come up with uh, new types of experiments, new ways to look for those things. So, for example, looking for dark matter, uh, you know, one of the few things we know about it is that it doesn't seem to interact very much with our stuff, with light, with atoms. So we design really very high precision, highly sensitive experiments to go looking for it. And you work very hard to remove all sorts of backgrounds that come in from our stuff, from the regular world, from the things we know about. Um, uh, but of course, each different experiment, you know, they're very different because we make sort of, uh, uh, we have different theories or different guesses about what the dark matter could be. So if it's um, something called an axion, for example, something I've thought about, uh, it would show up one way in a detector and we would design detectors specifically to look for it. Or if it's a different kind of particle, it would show up a different way. So, uh, you know, we, we ultimately we don't know. We have no idea, really, what it'll be. And we just have to make guesses sort of consistent with all of our current fundamental laws of nature. That's kind of, that's sort of what makes it really exciting, that when we find it, it will definitely be something really new, because we, we really don't know what it is now, so. Mm -hmm.